Welcome back to my channel, Cord Cutting and Sports. Uh, this video is going to show you how you can download ESPN events, uh, specifically replays, uh, using a new program that I was just alerted to um, by someone uh, you know that found my videos here on YouTube. So the program is called N underscore M3U8DL-RE. It's a very simple program. It's just basically just one file in exe that you download and then you execute it. And it functions, you know, very similarly to Streamwork or YouTube DL. Um, except uh, as you're gonna see with ESPN events, it can grab the event and basically it will exclude all the ads the way that YouTube DL used to work uh, before it stopped working, you know, basically a couple years ago. All right, so there'll be links to everything in the description of the video, um, such as where to download uh, this file. And you're gonna see the process is gonna be uh, very, very similar to the way that you use Streamlink to download ESPN replay events. So I'm on the Watch ESPN website here. I've gone to replays. I have uh, already signed in with my authenticated uh, TV credentials, and I'm going to basically download the Ohio State Texas College Football Playoff uh, semifinal game here. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is open the developer tools so I can grab the MPD file. Then I'll click on the event to start it playing. All right, here is the MPD file. Copy that. I'm gonna stop this. And now I will go to my notepad where I have the blank command here. Inside these two quotation marks is where I'm gonna paste the URL, except similar to Streamlink, I am going to change the .mpd to .m3u8. Now, one thing I do wanna mention is, I've actually tried this program out. It will download from the MPD file. But the problem is, what, what ends up happening is it creates uh, a video file, an MP4 video file, and a separate M4A audio file. And I could not uh, get those two to basically join together into just one editable, watchable file. Because even though it looks like in the video file, all the data is there, what ended up happening is when you play it, it essentially would only play the ads. It wouldn't actually play the actual you know, content itself. You need to basically use Handbrake to convert it to a different codec in order to get it to play, but I couldn't, I could not get that to happen. I couldn't join it together. So instead, we're just gonna follow the exact same procedure we do for Streamlink, which is copy the MPD URL, paste that, change the .mpd to .m3u8, and now I'm just gonna go ahead, copy this, I've got the command prompt up. I've already navigated to the directory on my hard drive where um, the n underscore m3u8 dl re is not really installed, but where I just pasted the exe file. So now I'm just going to copy this. Or sorry, paste it. I already copied it. And then hit enter. Okay, it's going to start. Notice here it lists all the different options that are available in terms of the um, size and the bit rate and the frames and all that stuff. So it's automatically selected by default the highest uh, quality one, which that's the one we want. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter to accept. All right, so it's downloading the event right now. So I'm going to let this run and then I will come back uh, afterwards. Uh, once it's done and we can check out the file and just make sure that everything downloaded correctly and there should not be uh, any ads in it at all. Okay, so the file has now finished downloading. So let's go ahead and play it and just confirm uh, that we got everything that we're supposed to. So the total file, it's coming in at 8.13 gigabytes. So it looks like that should be the entire game. All right, and notice here it does not start with any ads. Um, and if we just, you know, just jump ahead here, I mean, it's got the long intro. Yep. And you can see, uh, this should be the entire game, two hours, 37 minutes, 44 seconds. So 
but great quality. The audio is working. Obviously, I can hear it on my end. Um, <clears throat> but uh, so just wanted to say that uh, you can now use this program instead of Streamlink. If maybe you're having difficulty with Streamlink or getting installed or whatever, um, you can use this program n underscore m3 u8 dl dash re and again it's just one exe file that you run and again the command line is very very simple it's basically again this will all be in the description of the video but it's you know the name of the program then inside the quotation marks you put the m3 u8 url and then this is just telling you what the name of the file that you're going to save is going to be and that's it you know don't need anything else uh to do it but the so the process is pretty much the same as with as you do with streamlink again where you take the mpd url and you change that to m3u8 and then go ahead execute this command in the command prompt uh select the quality you want most likely it'll be the highest you just you know by default it's selected the highest quality you'll choose that and then just go ahead and let it run and you'll have your file um in no time all right so any questions uh, about this, you know, feel free to leave them below or you can reach out to me via email. Uh, you can find my email in the description of the video. Otherwise, uh, I'll be back soon with an overview, uh, more detailed overview of this program uh, going over, you know, which websites it does work on, which websites it doesn't work on, any other tips and tricks that you need to know um, about it.